this was meant for what's this for products so we just need our category and then the action right status and status okay so let me remove these from the original uh, so price out uh, company isn't that category let's remove that enabled and disabled are fine and then the action so that we have three things only so let me go back to my uh, page and let's refresh so that we see this okay so there's the category name the status and some actions here so this is good now so since we are not changing the table head so we can leave this be the only thing we are changing is that and it only has text but we will actually need uh, this for every row right these buttons here hmm. so what i will do is i will copy this save yet yeah. let me come back to ajax.php at this point mm -hmm. so right in here i will do my echo now html usually has a uh, double quotes in there so i will use my single quotes here paste like so and let me remove this one i had created like so put a semicolon there so every time we loop through we get this data okay but because we have an actual value for our current uh, the current situation so this is a row and this is a column so column by column or what we can do instead of uh, putting in a a going through each of these let's remove this since we these are just a few items right so i'll leave that echo leave that echo there in that one and then all i will do is get the row and put the first item here like this now the problem is we're using a single quote so this will not actually evaluate so let's put the single quote there put a dot to move out and then a dot and the semicolon to move uh, a single quote to move back so i will copy this and then same thing i will do here enable or disable so this one will be actually let's go back to our let's go to our table so here this is item number one number two and number three so there's category and there's disabled so instead let's use actual words instead of doing that so i will say category disabled i think the rest uh, should be as it should like that okay now here what i don't like is that we are adding all this stuff right inside here i want to keep this as small and as neat as possible so what i will do is uh right in here i will create another function so let me remove all this if statement here i'll do this cut it out x right so we'll say cuts get all like that so we get all the categories here and then all i will do is i will say let me move this data down here after we get the categories right and then what i will say is i'll create a function called um, make table like that so it will be part of this so i will say this make table like that and then i will give the data there which is in this case cats like that and then we'll stringify it there 
Okay, so let's make make table here. So there's one uh, Okay, wait a minute. There's one of these here, which is index inside controller. So if I'm going to only use this make table here, then I can put it inside this class. But if I want to use it on multiple occasions, on multiple pages, then I will put it in the master controller so that I can uh, use it when I extend. But for this, I think for now, unless we will need it later, I will put it right here. So index there, it ends there. I will say function. Or what I can do, instead of putting it in the controller, this looks like a job for the models, right? Since we are actually loading a category model here, and this has something to do with that. So what I will do is I'll just go to categories class, and right here I will say public, or I'm gonna move this here. I will say make underscore table table okay and then i will paste that data here so let me move it here for a second so that uh, it's just uh, easier to see what's happening all right so that belongs to that which is cool and this belongs to which one to that okay so let me move all this in there, good. So here, let's put cats at the top here, which was passed from the other side. All right, so we are returning something here. Now, I will say, because the problem what we're doing here is we're echoing something directly in the function, and that's not good. So what we will do is, is the function, it's better to return a value. So I will say a uh, result is equal to empty, like so. And then at the very end here, I will return the result. Like that, okay? And then all we need to do now is add to the result. So everywhere where there's echo here, I will just select and put result dot result space dot echo like that. So we're adding to result and then returning it at the very end. So good. So at this point, if I go back to Ajax here, this is no longer valid. So instead of using this, we'll use this category because that's where we've put it now. And so we'll say category make table cats there, bam. And then when we come back here now to our PHP page, uh, to our, we want to replace what's inside this body. So I think we already have that code here because in handle result, we have tbody uh, object data like so. So let's see if uh, this is actually going to work out. So I will refresh the page just in case and I will say add new. And instead of um, food, I will say drinks like so. And then I'm going to hit save. Category added successfully, okay. And now I have an empty um, an empty thing here. So now the best thing to do is to see what I actually returned here. So I will say, right on uh, result here, I will just say console.log because I'm sure it's a lot of data. So I will say result like that. So let's add one more thing here. So there's uh, food, there's drinks, there's, uh, let's try books, like so. And I'm going to hit uh, save, add it, okay. So I will just inspect the element at this point and go to the console so that I can see what was returned. So as you can see, the data is empty here. Successful, but empty data. So let's come back here to see what has happened. So Ajax AR data is equal to category make table cats. And then here get all. So what I want to do is see where the problem is. Do I actually get any categories here or 
is this where the problem is for get all? So let me come back here and try to see that. There's make table, there's get all. So maybe here, let's try and assign this to a variable. I'm just going to say uh, result is equal to, and then return that. Maybe that's where the problem is, I'm not sure. Let's give it a run and see what we do. So refresh and let's add, um, what did I add here? Uh, so does, that's something we can add there. Still the data is empty, so that wasn't clearly the problem. Okay, so all I want to do now is to Let's come back to the Ajax here. And at this point, I want to see what the result is from the cats here. So I will say, print our cats. And because I have the console.log, I can check what is being returned. So I refresh, add, and then um, what category do we want? Clothes and then hit save, good. So data is empty and then also I am not getting any anything from there. So this is where the problem is, not getting anything from there. So category get all. So what mistake have I made here? 